am a student. Hello student. I am an approved clinical instructor, an ACI. What is a clinical proficiency? The clinical proficiencies integrate decision making, critical thinking, and skill application to provide students with the additional means to demonstrate knowledge and skill at the highest levels of Bloom's taxonomy. Do I have to practice for my proficiency assessment before I meet with my ACI to be assessed? Hopefully you will have opportunities to demonstrate your proficiency multiple times throughout the semester. Proficiencies are incorporation of knowledge and skills you have already been taught. That is why they are scheduled in the fashion they are scheduled. It is always a good idea to be reviewing and practicing your abilities, but proficiencies are things you have already learned and should know how to do. It will be different, perhaps, demonstrating these abilities on a real patient, if you have not done that before, but the underlying knowledge and skills you should have already learned. What if my ACI has already seen me complete a proficiency, but it was not assigned yet? Can the ACI still sign my proficiency evaluation form? Sure. This is ideal. For example, the first week of the semester you may have the opportunity to evaluate a knee injury. That particular proficiency might not be assigned until later in the semester. Ideally you will discuss your evaluation with your ACI. The ACI will assess your performance and record that on your proficiency evaluation form for the knee. Hopefully, later in the semester you will have the opportunity to evaluate several knee injuries. Each time you will go through this process and be assessed by your ACI, your ACI can simply record each assessment on the same proficiency evaluation form. What if I'm assigned a particular proficiency, but don't have an opportunity to evaluate a real patient before the due date for the proficiency? The due dates for the proficiencies are necessary. It has been our experience that, without due dates, some proficiencies can accumulate resulting in several being due at the end of the semester and the ACI is overwhelmed with a few students needing to complete several proficiencies. The ACI is responsible for evaluating your clinical proficiency and is free to use various methods to accomplish this task. Most likely, in this particular situation, the ACI would stage a simulation of the topic of the proficiency. This will allow him or her to assess your clinical proficiency without having to wait for that particular situation to present itself. If, later in the semester, an actual patient presents himself or herself with this condition your ACI can reassess you on that proficiency, but, if the opportunity doesn't present itself, you can still know that you are completing your proficiencies in a timely manner. What if I have a situation present itself that was the topic of the proficiency from a previous semester? Can I have my current ACI reassess me on this proficiency? Sure. Your current ACI can evaluate you on any of the previous proficiencies. It is not desirable to spend a lot of time doing this, but there are situations where it is necessary. For example, if you were assessed in a previous semester on a proficiency and you did not score well. In this situation, you might want the ACI from a later clinical assignment to reassess you on a proficiency. What if my ACI is really busy or out of town a particular week and doesn't have time to assess me on the proficiencies that are due that week? Am I penalized? Assessing your proficiencies is your ACI's responsibility but it takes teamwork on both parties' parts. The ACI is ultimately responsible for when and how your proficiencies are assessed. If, in situations such as this, you both have an understanding that a proficiency is going to be postponed, that is perfectly acceptable. For the course, and for the sake of the ACS, I have a rule that no more than two weeks worth of proficiencies should be completed in one week. This allows some flexibility should schedules get busy but it also avoid attempting to crash too many proficiencies in too short a period of time. How will you know that I have completed my proficiencies? I am going to ask for updates from you regarding the progress you are making completing your proficiencies. At the end of the semester, I will want a copy of all the proficiency recording forms showing that they were signed by an ACI and the date they were completed. This copy will go in your official record. I'm assigned to a particular ACI, but have an opportunity to have another ACI evaluate me on a proficiency. Is that okay? Yes. Any ACI for this program can assess any proficiency. This will most likely occur when a particular ACI might have an opportunity for to stage some proficiencies for their facility. It makes sense that several students in that facility might participate in that session and have a proficiency signed off by an ACI to which she or he is not assigned. My ACI asked a graduate student to assess me for a proficiency. Is that okay? It might be okay. ACIs have to have gone through our ACI training and have to have been certified for at least one year. Often our graduate assistants are not certified for over one year. In these situations a graduate student is officially supervised by an ACI. The graduate assistant is welcome to assess your proficiency, but the ACI supervising that graduate assistant must also sign off on the proficiency. What if I get too busy and can't complete all my proficiencies before the end of the semester? 
Completing the proficiencies is a requirement of this program, but, to provide some flexibility for situations such as this, only 85% of the proficiencies must be complete by the end of the semester, to obtain a grade of incomplete for this course. Once the missing proficiencies are completed, and documentation is submitted to the instructor for this course your incomplete will be replaced with a grade of CR. According to university policy, you have one year to complete any incompletes. The ADAP program director will not approve your application for the certification examination, until all incompletes are complete. Why do we have to do all these clinical proficiencies? The intent of the clinical proficiencies is to capture the essence of learning over time, by documenting a student's progression from cognitive competence and psychometer skill performance through supervised clinical application as evidenced by the integration of decision-making, and critical thinking as measured by the clinical proficiencies. How often are the proficiencies due? Different proficiencies are assigned for most of the weeks of the semester. The documentation of the proficiencies is due the last day of instruction for the semester. This date is in the university catalog, and is reflected in the syllabus for this course. It basically is the day before consultation days a week before finals week each semester. Do I have to carry around a notebook with the proficiencies at all times just in case my ACI gets a chance to sign me off on one? The documentation for each proficiency is necessary, but should not be too cumbersome. Because your ACI will most likely assess your proficiency, while in the assigned facility, you may find it easiest to simply store your proficiency binder in that facility, so that it is available should it be needed. Also, your ACI doesn't have to have your proficiency recording form in front of him or her when she or he is assessing your proficiency. Most often she or he will not have the form while assessing you. Imagine the sprained ankle that you both run to the gym to assess. The ACI would not stop to grab your proficiency binder. After you both had taken care of the patient and were having an opportunity to debrief regarding the situation, your ACI can fill out a form at that point. This might not be until the next day or even later. That is fine. There are a lot of things to get checked off, especially for the proficiencies dealing with injury evaluations. Do I really have to demonstrate all of those special tests, etc.? The proficiency assessment forms for injury evaluations are set up to be adaptable to any type of injury that might be in that category, for example, ankle. A proficient professional will not perform all of these tests, nor ask all of the questions, palpate all of the area, etc. for every injury. The proficient professional is able to demonstrate that she or he knows which tests, palpations, questions, etc. are relevant, and which ones are not. You can demonstrate this by performing the appropriate components for the injury scenario you are taking care of and not performing the unnecessary components which are not relevant for that particular injury. The bottom line is, sometimes demonstrating that you know how to do something involves knowing what not to do as well as what to do. I'm very excited to begin demonstrating that I'm proficient in these important areas in an athletic trainer. I know that I will learn a lot from my ACI as I have a chance to demonstrate my abilities and get feedback from my ACI woohoo. I hope you have a great semester. I am excited to hear about all the great things you are able to learn also.